In the remote Colombian village of San Jose de la Quinta, a malevolent presence lurked in the shadows, preying on the innocent and vulnerable. Luis Alfredo Garavito, known as La Bastilla, was a sinister figure who haunted the dreams of every parent and child in the region. His chilling methods of luring victims would become the stuff of nightmares. In the fading light of a warm October evening, a young boy named Carlos walked home alone after a day of selling trinkets on the streets. As he approached a secluded alley, a whisper of a voice echoed in the darkness, calling his name. Fear clenched at his heart, but curiosity got the better of him. Emerging from the shadows, La Bastilla wore a disarming smile that masked the evil within. He offered Carlos a seemingly innocent proposition a chance to make some easy money by assisting him in collecting recyclables from abandoned buildings. Tempted by the prospect of extra pesos, the young boy agreed, unaware of the impending horror that awaited him. As days turned into weeks, Garavito continued to prowl the streets, seeking out his next victim. He honed his skills in deception, weaving a web of lies to ensnare his targets. He posed as a charitable man, offering food, shelter, and warmth to the desperate street children. To them, he seemed like a savior, but in reality, he was leading them straight into the jaws of a monstrous nightmare. In the midst of the bustling city, his facade remained intact, and no one suspected that the friendly man with the gentle voice was, in fact, a bloodthirsty predator. As rumors of disappearing children spread, a cloud of terror engulfed the village. Parents clutched their children tighter, and whispers of, La Bastilla, echoed through the streets like a chilling omen. Carlos's disappearance was but one of many, and the police found themselves chasing shadows in their quest to capture the elusive monster. But Garavito's sinister charm was deceptive, and the police were always one step behind. The suspense grew as the body count rose, and the realization that La Bastilla could be anyone, anywhere, sent shivers down the spine of every resident. Amidst the horror, a glimmer of hope arose when a young boy named Eduardo managed to escape Garavito's clutches. Through quivering lips, he recounted the terrifying ordeal that unfolded in the decrepit buildings where La Bastilla took his victims. He spoke of the gut-wrenching fear, the haunting cries for help, and the chilling laughter that followed. The police launched a manhunt, and the net around Garavito slowly tightened. But even as they closed in, the suspense grew as he continued to elude them, slipping through the cracks like a wraith in the night. After months of relentless pursuit, the police finally received a tip that led them to a secluded farmhouse on the outskirts of the village. It was here that they discovered the horrifying truth. In a hidden room, adorned with sinister symbols, lay the remnants of Garavito's unspeakable atrocities photographs, journals, and items belonging to his victims. The suspense reached its peak as they searched for Garavito himself, unsure if he was hiding in the shadows, watching their every move. As the police meticulously combed the area, a chilling realization struck. Garavito had managed to escape yet again, leaving behind only the echoes of his evil deeds. The suspense turned to frustration and despair as he slipped through their fingers once more. To this day, the legend of La Bastilla lives on, a cautionary tale to all, a reminder that the shadows hold unimaginable horrors, and the monsters among us may wear the most disarming masks. The chilling true crime horror of Luis Alfredo Garavito, La Bastilla, serves as a harrowing reminder of the darkness that can lurk within seemingly ordinary individuals. His methods of luring his victims, disguised behind a facade of kindness, continue to haunt the collective consciousness. May this tale be a solemn warning to all, and may we remain vigilant against the malevolence that may dwell in the shadows, waiting to ensnare the innocent. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below.